Yash, you know, the mind, the ego can imitate anything. The imagination is, uh, wow, I've, I've just, especially in the spiritual realm. I don't know, did I share before? I was in Gokarna in India, and uh, I'm not ever really drawn to spiritual places and circles too much just because of all the pretentious just nonsense that that goes down a lot of times there uh i remember even who who in the <coughs> sri yukas teshawire was sharing he, he 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 didn't really like to go to the kumbh mela just because you got all these posers basically you know trying to show and demonstrate their spirituality but he went because it was divine destiny that's where he met the lahiri mahasha and uh did i say his name right wow I don't know, maybe I didn't, <laughs> but so he met him and that was why he went, but I'm just saying, he understood and I understand too, I'm not drawn to those places generally, but I went to Gokarna and there was this guy, he, I didn't think about it at the time, but it's probably because he was smoking hash, but he would just be uh, <clears throat> dancing on the beach in, in, in this very, <laughs> I mean, just looked like some kind of cartoon, you know, and uh <clears throat> and then people people would be, oh, wow, he's in ecstasy. And <laughs> it's like, oh, God, I got to leave here, you know? That's an example of how the imagination can uh, uh, pretend to be awake, you know? And I've shared before about uh, the, the, the new trend is to make videos in real time showing your awakening, <laughs> you know? And... Uh, How do you catch that though? How do you so you can't tell somebody that you can't be like, look, dude, you have some spiritual scars for sure. I can see it, but do you realize that um, you know you kind of your ego is putting a little English on it? It's kind of blowing it up, but really it shouldn't be blowed up. Like it looks weird. You can't you can't say that to somebody when they're in it. Now, if I reflect in my own life. Well, I never did that to that level, but I used to I used to play the spiritual role. And um, <clears throat> the real people who maybe don't even know anything about spirituality, they can catch that out, you know, because they, they're not they're not. They can just feel it like, bro, come on, man. Like, but I used to I, I, I was at a meeting once and um, I was sharing, speaking. I was sitting next to this brother and I, I noticed in the corner of my eye, I was like 24 or something, I don't know. And he was, um, was kind of imitating me. You know, he's like, he's doing that stuff, you know. So I'm putting myself in this situation because I want to answer that question. Like, like, what do you do? If somebody's doing that, I mean, you don't do anything. You don't bother them. But I'm just saying, what, what do you, how, how can, what's their, can they recognize they're doing it? No, I couldn't. I couldn't, you know, my, I just, just, my mind justified and just said, oh, he's just not there. Poor brother. <laughs> he's making fun of me, but really he just doesn't know what spirituality is. This is what happens. This is how the mind justifies and keeps one stuck in some pretentious, you know, act. Um, another way <laughs> you can diagnose this is if there's some, um, you notice it's like the mind keeps reminding itself, like, I'm awake, I'm awake, wow, I'm finally awake. They're not awake, I'm awake. That can be subtle, it can be subtle stuff. Sometimes it doesn't even formulate as a thought, it can just kind of be a tendency. It's in the subconscious, subconscious is tendencies. Conscious mind is more more when these tendencies actually take shape and become a thought. So you can have this kind of background feeling like you're walking around and well, I'm, I'm awake. <laughs> you got to catch that out. Or, or if you're doing consultations, you know, people, if you're doing a consultation with someone, <clears throat> that's, a, that's the new thing. People want to make videos showing like, look, I'm doing consultations. I'm good. You want a consultation? Um, if you're doing a consultation or talking to somebody, 
anybody. Somebody comes to you as as for service or help, and you find yourself you find yourself um, feeling that you're again it's subtle. You got to catch it. You you're 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 somehow higher than them. You're in a higher state. You're like uh, oh, poor soul. Come on now, I'm trying to help you. <coughs> See somebody. <coughs> Somebody that's not infected with that um, pseudo-spiritual virus, you can't see anybody that's, they're, they're not, you can't see them as lower or higher, and you don't see yourself as higher or lower. You recognize that there's this one, you can say, presence, this one self manifesting in, in just all different levels and grades. And that's evolution, but you don't take it serious. You can't, you can't, I mean, sometimes in the moment, if somebody's really having a hard time, you, 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 th there's an appearance of taking it serious because that's the game. That's the moment you're supposed to. You don't just dismiss everything. Somebody's sharing from their heart of, even though it's an illusion and they're really emotionally inf affected by it and everything, you don't, you don't just dismiss it and say, hey, but you know, it's, um, that's just an appearance, man. You know, <laughs> you got to be grounded in your own wisdom, in, in, in your own stability, and then you'll know what to say. And even what you say, do you know this? Do you know that what you're saying is also an illusion? See, it's easy for the mind to say, oh, but what, what they're speaking is an illusion. But do you know what you're saying is also an illusion? It's all part of the same illusion. It's a different, a different expression of illusion. Our pure self doesn't say anything. It's not trying to wake up. It's not trying to help people. That's the game. That's, that's the so-called matrix. Do you know that? <clears throat> so, yeah, I just wanted to, to shed a little light on that because um, I just see it. <laughs> not just on videos, but anywhere. It's like, especially this town, it's like, what do they say? Too many uh, Indian chiefs and not enough Indians. Right. We need more Indians. <laughs> because everybody just wants to outshine each other and, and show like how much, how much I know. And, uh, as somebody that's really in, uh, aware of, of their true nature, you don't want to show anything. You don't have that feeling. It's intimate and it's private. You don't want to do, you don't want to share your sex life with somebody. Same thing. You just don't want to. It has to be dug out of you. Somebody has to really w warrant that. And then that comes. Then you, it, it, the sharing comes. Like You can't even help it. It's like if a woman's breastfeeding her child, the milk is just coming. She can't do anything about it. That's when somebody, it's time to make videos or to uh, share something that's, that's truly worth sharing. You see, but the mind likes to skip ahead. The ego wants to share it now. It wants wants to get the recognition now. It wants to be somebody, be something. Ah, I know my purpose now. I'm a spiritual teacher. You know, most spiritual teachers never even thought about being spiritual teachers. They just found them themselves. They don't even think they're a spiritual teacher. Actually, they're just they're just doing what they're doing. They don't even label it. They don't even look at it like that. Anyway, let me know if that helped you. I, I liked making that video. <laughs> All right, see you.